So here I am working on my daily artwork. Started in World Creator and I just uh, made a landscape just uh, messing around. Then I brought it into Cinema 4D and I'm applying all the different maps, texture maps and height map. And I thought I would show you through today the, um, the method of applying these textures uh, and maps to um, a plane. So I've pre-prepared something, obviously, and I've got this base here that I've put to the same size as my, uh, my base in World Creator, which is uh, 4096 square. So I've got that base and what I am going to use in Octane Render, if you come up to Materials, is this one here, Octane Composite Material. I think in, I've, I've got uh, version four in maybe subscription or different uh, ones, it might be called Blend Material. I think it's the same thing. So let me just double click that and open it up. I'm gonna open the node editor so we can see what's going on next to it. Uh, and so what we have is this uh, material which you can add lots of different materials to um, and and uh, and layer it up and then mask off those different different layers so you're blending these materials together you can't just grab a, a material and drag it into here I've tried it, it doesn't work you need to use what's called sub materials so you come to I know I've got five different maps so I'm going to have number of materials five and you see how that added it here and added it there and if I come to the first material, I just click on add material and you can see how it's added a sub material there. And it's exactly the same as other materials and with the same options, we can choose glossy or diffuse. So it's pretty much the same as any material, except it's associated directly with this composite material. So I'm going to go through and add material for each of these. And in displacement, I'm going to use displacement at a displacement node. And in displacement, I'll go through in texture, octane, image texture. So here in the, um, the node editor, it's a bit messy. So if I double click, drag this up, double click that material, just tidying it up a bit. Double click will close the window. And this one here, I'll just drag it to the top. So you can see we've got our layers here. So with this image texture, if I go and find my height map, which I've created, there it is. And if I drag that to my plane, and then I know my height is about 660, and level of detail 4096, same as my plane. And where's my transform? Transform is there. Transform, I'm just going to get rid of these uh, error edges by scaling it up 1.001. There, and I'm gonna turn my sun on so you can see the displacement texture, it's now applied to my plane. So next I'll come over and I will um, design my material. So I'm going to use uh, materials from Quixel, uh, Quixel Surface Material. There's plenty of free ones you can go to their, their website, uh, but you might have any other uh, textures you might want to use or materials, you can use those. But what I'll do is I'm going to uh, grab an image texture and then I've got some saved, uh, where are they? I think 3D assets, Quixel surface, um, and just say I'm going to start with a the rocks or the cliffs first, so this type of material I've got. I'm going to start with the albedo, which is the diffuse color map, and I'm going to plug that into the diffuse so we can see it's applied. 
I'm going to copy that. I know I'm going to apply all different. I'm going to get roughness, bump, and normal. So I'm going to go copy, paste, paste, paste. Set those out like that. Drag each of those into their corresponding. If it closes up, just drag over and then drag it down. So this one I want was the roughness. This one I want is the bump, but I'm going to use the displacement map for that. And this normal, I'm going to just plug it into the normal map. And there is our texture. Uh, your VRAM can get chewed up very quickly by adding all these materials and layering up lots of these. So what I like to do also is in the type normal, usually this is like an RGB map here set to RGB 24 bit map. Uh, I'm going to change this to float, which just changes it to a grayscale image. So it saves a few channels and can save our VRAM a bit if we do that. Anything that's not color, let's just change it to float. And then the transform, let's grab a transform and I'm plugging that into each transform node. Connected there. And I might like it at one, but if I say 0.5, you can see how that is scaling it down. Uh, you know, you can just do it by eye, but it might scale down to something you like a bit more. So that is my first texture. So I am going to copy. Actually, I'm not going to copy and paste. So I would just do that again with the next material and bring in all my different materials. But for the sake of showing you how it works here, I'm just going to my next material, I'm just going to make red. I bring in my image texture. And now this is going to be my mask or the dis distribution map as a uh, world creator calls it. So if I come across to my project, now I've saved, um, Oops, I'm in, the, I'm in the wrong folder. If I come across to my project, and again, I'm in the wrong folder, sorry. Here we go. Uh, so this first map is called heat map. I got that out of world creator and it's just a mask. If I plug that into material to mask, you can see how the red has shown up in only that area that is masked off. And I've got some options here. I might change this to float as well. Uh, if I, you know, if I want to try and just force the contrast down, I get a bit more red areas. Um, I undo that. If I want less, I can up the, um, I bring the, the power down. So it's not there at all or just, you know, dial it in how I want. So undo that as well. But just my default that I've set up in World Creator will look like that. So if I get a closer look, I've got my camera set up. So you can see how you would start to layer up different maps. And I just might do one more just for the sake of showing if I was going to get some green for some grass. Once again, I pull in my texture. I go and grab the map that's relevant. Maybe this is my grass map. I drag that into my material mask and you can see it's applied only in the area that I want. And then I would just go through and then dial in all these different materials, all the different masks. And I have got one I prepared earlier, like a good little chef. I'm just going to drag that across my base. So you can see what that is. Let me show you the workings, the node editor, so you can see what a mess it is. So you can see I've, you know, I've got my five different materials. I've plugged that in five different times, five different rocks and cliffs and grasses, and each has a different map and then displacement map. So that's the setup for all the materials.
and then um, yeah, that is it. So you just want to go through and adjust to your liking. Um, but I've got a plane in the background. I've got a, um, you know, like sort of a falling off in the background plane. And then I just added a background image of clouds. Added a cloud plane to get some fake cloud shadows. Added a volume to uh, get some atmosphere drop off. And then I was done. So I hope that helps you out, guys. Uh, love to see what you create with this technique in the uh, composite or blend material. And that's how um, I usually layer up all my different textures uh, with World Creator and often Quixel textures. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time. Bye.